Where are we, honey? Well, I know how much you love bisque, so for our anniversary, I found the best bisque place around. You are the greatest woman alive. <laughs> Seriously, I love bisque. It's like, you, bisque. You, bisque. And you, you always win. You yes. Always win. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Hey, hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, welcome to my restaurant of food. Would you guys like something to eat? Yeah, we heard you have really good bisque. Bisque? Yeah, so what can you tell us tomato about? Tomato bisque. You like tomatoes? Yeah. Okay. Mushroom bisque. Oh, uh, asparagus bisque. Not so much. Lettuce bisque. You have a lettuce bisque? Oh, you like lettuce. Okay, well, let's see. A lettuce risotto, maybe? Lettuce wrap? Lettuce salad? No, could, could we go back to the soup? That sounded bisque? really Bisque? Yeah, especially the mushroom one. Shrimp bisque, lobster bisque. No, like I said, the mushroom one. World famous lobster bisque. That's great. I don't like seafood. Ryan Reynolds. You know that guy? Yeah. Hmm. Charles Barkley. Hmm. You know him too, Jim Carrey. Yeah, you're just naming famous people. They like it. Wait, they like what? Lobster best. Five stars. Five thumbs up. Five children. You know what? I, that sounds really, really good. I will get that, and then oh. Stephen will get something else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Could I have the mushroom choice. bisque? Okay. That sounded good. Mushroom, okay. What kind of mushrooms, please? You have more than one kind Portabella, of mushroom. Portabella, shiitake, white mushroom, brown mushroom. I don't really know the difference. Wild so mushroom, <laughs> cremini, poisonous mushroom. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean poisonous? It's not fatal. The poison is boiled out. Obviously. Okay. Um, well, which one would you suggest out of those, then? Lobster bass. Of course. Okay. Um, no, um, could I get, like, all of them? You want 27 bowls of soup? No, sorry. I mean, just mix all the mushrooms in one bisque. Uh, what? Do you think this is a stinking buffet? <laughs> <laughs> Portobello. Let's go with Portobello. Is that okay, all right? That's your choice. All right, guys. That's twelve dollars point five six. It's on me, so there you go. Ah, on the card. The swipey swipey. <laughs> okay, and the tats. Uh, ah, authorized. Okay, you may have. Please have a seat at the table, and you can use the chairs if you want. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I guess they have a lot of soup options. Yeah, seriously, kind of crazy. Um, hey guys, hi. Uh, so, this is how's the food? Oh, it's it's that, excellent. Good? Okay. Thank you. Hi. I apologize for the inconvenience, but we are out of all of the portobello bits. Okay. Um, that's fine. I will have any other kind of mushroom. Thank you. Um. I apologize for the inconvenience, <laughs> but we are out of all of the mushrooms best. Seriously? Yes. Okay, um, tomato. Let's go with tomato. That sounds fine. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah and no, no, I don't, I don't care what kind of tomato. It's just Roma. There's, Roma, let's go with there's Roma. There's only one kind of tomato. I won't have that one, please. <laughs> but... I apologize for the great You're out of that one too. Okay. Um, what do you have? Lobster best. <laughs> Thanks so much. I really hope my girlfriend likes these. She is going to feel so special. Trust yeah. me. Thank you <laughs> yeah. so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, so today I am in need of a flower. Oh, well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> oh, oh, good. You look very dapper. Dapper? 
I'm supposed to look super hot. <laughs> oh, uh, what's the occasion? I'm going on a romantic date. Oh, great. So do you know what you want? A warm embrace. Excuse me? Maybe a kiss in the moonlight. Oh, right, with your date. Um, I meant what kind of flower do you want? I, I'm not familiar with flowers. I sell Basque. <laughs> So you're a cook. Mushroom oh. bisque, eggplant bisque, Dr. Pepper bisque, uh, lobster bisque. You should try it. World famous lobster bisque. I will have to do that. Uh, yeah. Why don't we help you find a flower? Ah, yes. Um, so I need something that says, hey, baby. Who is your dream boat? <laughs> uh, oh, wait, I found him. It's me. <laughs> Do you guys have that one? Uh, well, uh, you could try these lovely daffodils. Or, um, oh, or how uh, about a sunflower? These are beautiful. Well, th I'm sorry, but uh, my girlfriend can't see them. She is a blind date. So you've never met her? How did you know that? <laughs> Are you a sidekick? No. Do you also read palms? What? Because my lifeline goes all the way down to my elbow. <laughs> I think I'm immortal. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Uh, yes. Why not try a Romantic red rose. Will my girlfriend like this one? Oh, Veronica? Her name is not Veronica. No, that's the flower's name. You name your flowers? <laughs> that is not good. You will get emotionally attached. No, that's not. No, trust me. One time I named my Basque Belbo. <laughs> and then when I sold it to a customer, I got the postpartums. No, uh, Veronica is the kind of flower. See, huh. this is a, a rose, this is Veronica, and this is a lily. Oh, you named them all after girls. <laughs> Very interesting. And that's ranunculus. You're ranunculus! <laughs> no, that's the name of the flower. Get some help, sister. Never mind, is that the flower you want? No. Okay. None of these flowers smell good. Do you have any that taste good? Taste good? You're not supposed to eat them. She might, <laughs> if she's hungry enough. <laughs> the only flower I can even think of that people use in food is hibiscus. Hibiscus? <laughs> Yeah, they use it in herbal tea. Hibiscus tea? You have got to be kidding me. What is, where is, uh, what is it? This is what it looks oh. like. Five petals, five delicious bites, five I children. have an idea. <laughs> Why don't you take this what? and, uh, you know, maybe this and uh, this uh, and, uh, you know, a little bit of this. What is this, a stinking bouquet? Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. That's nice. <laughs> but how else can I eat it? Seriously? Hibiscus ice cream? Hibiscus soda? Hibiscus lasagna? Listen. <laughs> Buy the bouquet. Uh. You could make her so happy. Maybe even fall in love with you. Oh, that's nice. Maybe. Yeah. I like that. Or you could buy the hibiscus uh, and make some weird food. Oh, conundrum. <laughs> Honestly, which is better? 
Hibiscus Basque. Don't worry, babe, my parents are gonna love you. Yeah, just come over here and meet them. All right, okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, little brother. <laughs> what are you doing here? I have mom and dad tonight. I just wanted to meet your woman, broham. <laughs> Fine, but you better be really nice to her and to me, otherwise you've gotta go. Uh, do you want me to make like a tree and leaves? You done? Get it? Because <laughs> of the leaves. No, that doesn't make sense. Mother. My favorite son. <laughs> <laughs> Give your mother a cat. Oh. <laughs> your father will be so happy. Chris. Crash! Trash! Crash! Crash, what is it, trash? Crash, put down that wask and get in here. Trash, your wash last is fascally irresponsible. <gasps> My favorite song. <laughs> hey, uh, mother. I brought yes. you a gift. Oh. Do you realize what this is? <laughs> Hibiscus? Yes. <sighs> I ate like five of them. <laughs> Matt! Matt! Where, where's Matt? Mom, Dad died five years ago. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Mitch died in a ditch. <laughs> and now he's got the post-mortems. <laughs> Granny made her famous lobster bath. <laughs> Why do you always have to make his favorite, even tonight? You know I hate bisque. You are a disgrace to this family. <laughs> You are around bisque 24-7. Don't you ever get sick of the stuff? Do, do you ever get sick of breathing? <laughs> okay. Yes! Yes! Golly! It's not your fault, son. We dropped you on your head as a child. <laughs> That's right. I was running a marathon with you in my arms, and I tore my manascus and trapped. <laughs> Sorry if it made you such a fish out of water. Oh, we, we probably shouldn't have had you listen to all that classical music as a child. You should have listened to Limp Basket like me. Yeah. That's what made me so sociable. <laughs> sociable, yeah. Hey, wait, what happened to that blind date I set you up on? With Veronica? Veronica? Oh, I guess that was her name. <laughs> That was supposed to be tonight. What happened? Uh, but I got uh, distracted. Beautiful. Ah! Huh? Tricky stitch. <laughs> uh, who wants to play a super fun game? Uh, 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 yeah. what, what are we playing? Uh, Rats! Uh, yeah. Well, I am pretty good at risk, so. Well, at least there's one thing you're good at. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? You're a loser. Okay. <laughs> Just because I don't own my own business doesn't Best mean I... Huh. I did graduate from Harvard this year, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, in psychology. Neurosurgery. <laughs> psychology, psychology, they're the same thing. <laughs> no, they are not. I also took the Harvard football team to four bowls in the last four years, so. Uh, and how many bowls of bisque did I sell in the last four Those years? Those are not even comparable. 6,266! Mitch! 
They and are. we are so proud of you, honey. I know. It's yeah. just. <laughs> we'll just wait until my girlfriend gets here, and then you'll be proud of me too. We are proud Why? of you. <laughs> Everyone, this is my girlfriend. Hello, family of Stephen. Hi. Uh, hi, 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 hi. It is my pleasure to meet you and your acquaintances. <laughs> yes, yes. I brought a delicious dash of biscuits that. Oh, 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 oh. I left it in my Civic. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get them, I'll be brisk. <laughs> All right. Yep. So, what do you guys think? Oh. Wow, Steven. You found a weirdo. Yeah. Please come in. Hey guys, hi. <laughs> Thanks so much for meeting with me today. Uh, before we get started, do you have any questions? Why are we here? Where did we come from? And where are we going? I meant uh, questions about our meeting. Who are you? I'm Matt, your business consultant. Oh. We went to college together. Oh, that's nice. And I married your sister. Oh, wow. Yeah. I also gave you a kidney. Ah! Kidney best. No, I mean, my kidney was surgically... Never mind. You it's know good what? good flavor. Today, I wanted to talk to you about some ideas I had for your business. Biskness? Uh, yes. Ah. Yes. Uh, your restaurant is one of the most successful in the city, oh, and so I wanted to talk to you about some opportunities for growth. Growth? Why would I need to be taller to run a restaurant? <laughs> Hypocrite. Uh, no, I, I mean growth for your business. Biskness? Right, sorry. Bro, do you even bisque? Um, yes, I've eaten bisque. Your bisque. Once you go bisque, you can't resist. I see. Listen, I just think that you should expand your horizons. How large are my horizons supposed to be? Oh, that is the perfect question, oh. and I happen to have the perfect answer. That's serendipitous. Uh, yes. <laughs> I want you to imagine this. You want me to sell bisque to chickens? No, the chicken is in the kitchen with the bisque. Uh, th then why doesn't he have a chef's hat on? That is a health code violation. Yeah, his feathers may fall into the food. No, I didn't mean he was a cook. Wait a second. Chickens can't cook. They can't even read temperatures. <laughs> At least not in Fahrenheit. No chickens will be doing any cooking. Not in my restaurant. Next idea. <laughs> no, my idea is for your restaurant to specialize in both chicken dishes and bisque. Hence the name Chicken and Bisque. Hey, genius. Why would I name my restaurant Chicken and Bisque if I don't sell chicken? Well, that's my idea. Your idea is to name my restaurant after food I don't sell? Who do you think I am? Steve Jobs? <laughs> no, my, my idea is for you to start selling chicken. Chicken Bisque? Sure, that's oh, one. Oh, okay, so you're one of those quacks. Excuse me? <laughs> you can't sell Chicken Bisque, Matthew. It's too earthy, too grainy. The texture is unpalatable. Let's leave the chicken in the noodle soup. Okay, but there are other dishes you can make with chicken. Other dishes? I have an idea. Okay, what There's is it? There's only one way to eat chicken. Check it out. <laughs> nuggets! Chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets! Turkey nuggets, beef nuggets. Aren't those just meatballs? Bacon nuggets, veggie nuggets, gold nuggets. You can't feed that to people. <gasps> Lobster nuggets. Hold just on, where did you straight. even get this sign? You want one? Why do you have, never mind. 
It's free, no cost, Don't gratis. You, uh, thank you. Don't you think nuggets are a little childish? George Bernard Shaw. What? Do you know that guy? Yes, he's an author. Why? He once said, never give a nugget to a child that you would not eat yourself. I'm pretty sure he was talking about books. Irrelevant. Okay, but nuggets just make you think of greasy fingers and sauce packets. Genius. No, that wasn't a good thing. Five sauces, five delicious flavors, five children. Children? Are these your children? They look nice. Yes, your godfather to that one. Ah, yes, yes, I can. I made him a bisque he could not refuse. You know what? Let's just go with the nugget idea. We can find a way to make that classy. Nuggets and bad. But only if we make it nice. We have to serve it with a garnish and offer a variety of sauces served Naturally. in elegant dishes, not sauce packets. Well, How does that sound? Uh, it is a lovely idea. I know, right? This is exciting. Yeah, uh, there's just something missing. Okay, what do you think? Just, just some... I don't know. Uh, I got it! Great, what is it? <laughs> is it the most genius idea I ever had? <laughs> Just bask! <laughs> Get it? Because it's the best part. <laughs> oh, we don't even need to. Oh, hey guys. Hey, I, I just had some extra time, so I'm gonna hang out. I don't have a watch. But you should subscribe. Uh, because I'm gonna be here um, just talking to you until you do. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till you subscribe. So it's it's great. It's great that that you're gonna do that. All right. All right. Well, maybe I'm just I'm just gonna go. But keep that up. Subscribing. Hey, honey, I thought I would make dinner tonight to celebrate your band getting its first official groupie. Who? Me. Oh, that's so sweet, but I thought you didn't know how to cook. I don't. They're oh. dinosaur nuggets. Oh, look at that. Um, honey, before you get too excited, there's something I have to confess. What? You will confess eventually. <laughs> Tell him, Whitney. Tell him your dark secret. Only a fool would trust... James, this is the wrong sketch. What? This isn't the detective sketch. That's next week. You're not supposed to be here. But you said the line, I will never confess. No, I didn't. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> There's something I have to confess. What? We're kicking you out of the fan club. What? But I'm the only fan. Well, you're not a hipster. I'm not? No. <laughs> Better to be thought mainstream and remain silent than to speak out and remove all doubt. James! What? I thought this was our hipster parody of the Lincoln film. We don't have a sketch that matches that description, James. Oh, oh. Yeah, and that quote was from Mark Twain, not Lincoln. Oh. No, James, we don't or have a Mark Twain not. sketch either. You know what? Fine. I can tell when I'm not wanted. I'm not sure you can. I'm just going to go backstage and get something to eat. OK. You want something to eat? How about some basque? Jason, what are you doing? That's not even your character. <laughs> How dare you? James, uh, I apologize for the inconvenience. You guys are seriously ruining this sketch. Yeah. Did someone say literally? No, no, we said seriously. Natalie, you are literally the wrong gender to play Captain Literally. Okay. Where's the bathroom? Oh, Steven. <laughs> We've just been over this. You can't be Lady Shadow. You are a man, and she is a very pregnant woman. <sighs> You're right. This is awkward. Awkward! Ah! <laughs> 
How do you like it, Jason? Uh, my emotions are everywhere right now. Oh. <laughs> and so is the defensive line, men. But stand firm and hold your backs up, because I got a hunch. Mel, that we're Mel. <laughs> we cut the hunchback of the University of Notre Dame sketch. <laughs> really bad idea. Dang it. Lady Shadow. What is wrong with all of you? Did anyone bother to read the script for the sketch? I mean, none of you are supposed to be here. You people have killed the funny. This sketch is burning before our eyes. Not literally. Sorry, I got excited. Yeah. Hey, how come no one dressed up like Anne? Well, she's kind of... I would rather die. <laughs> Jeremy, finally, someone who's actually supposed to be in this sketch. Good evening, Matthew. <laughs> Sorry, he insisted. What sponsor? <laughs> this is literally the worst way to start the season. Balance restored! <laughs>